All right, I am checking out Miniland Adventure Prologue, which is a demo version of Miniland Adventure, which is coming out soon on Steam. I already like the intro song. It's very chill. The pixel art gives me a very nostalgic feeling. And let's, uh, let's jump into it. Here we are in the tutorial. This is what I'm greeted with. Okay, move with WASD and look around using a mouse. Expanding the world. Right click opens the door. Press space to enter editing mode and place some tiles in empty space. All right, space. Can I click this? Ah, interesting. Every morning, you'll get to choose new tiles to expand your world. Very interesting. Thirst and hunger. Drink boiled water taken from the sea and eat cooked food and, or vegetables. Okay. So I right click this chest. And these are the things inside of it. Cup, cup of salt water, coal, cup of water. Yeah, I can click it, put it in my inventory. Interesting. Now we're holding the cup of water. Ah, okay. I right clicked it and it drank it. Keep an eye on thirst and hunger. When they drop to zero, you will start to lose health. Here's broccoli and cooked goat meat. Shift left click is how you move it from storage to your inventory uh, and vice versa. Okay, we're getting hungry, so I'm going to eat this broccoli. Okay, tab is for inventory, for crafting. But if I just right click it, it works. That also filled up our water, our liquid. Moving on, combat. Use weapons to fight with monsters and animals. Or alpacas. Okay, so we just click on them while we have a weapon equipped. Help and achievements. If you need help, press T to open a tutorial book and h to see achievements so t and h okay so this has all of the controls drop items with q shift click to easily move them between open inventories space center exit world editing that's very cool i like the idea of being able to place tiles if you choose creative mode you can press c to choose and receive new biomes without waiting for the morning yeah i'm liking this so far Got a very cozy feeling to it. I like the pixel art a lot. What's over here? Smelting. Okay, so crafting stuff. Some items can be smelted, boiled, or cooked. All right, we've got coal, copper ore, and raw goat meat. First, choose an item to smelt and then add fuel. Okay, so here's our smelter. Charcoal. Okay, I'm, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. Okay. So if I click copper, it puts the copper ore in here. And we can, this highlighted fuel, we can click to add nine fuel. So the copper takes one copper ore and four fuel. One coal provides nine fuel. So it gives us enough fuel for two copper plus one excess fuel which i believe it stores see this has a uh whitened segment to it so we have an excess this is already one quarter of the way complete and if we add another pull it should yeah see how it does it one segment as a, at a time one two three four nice so we've got our copper which I'll shift to left click and we can put our raw goat meat in here, I assume. So we wanna do, we wanna make cooked goat meat. So we click that and we need three fire. We already had two fires stored. So we'll add another coal to finish it. We can, we can make even more. This is how much fire we have stored in the smelter. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. It's making sense. Moving on, we got the smelter down, interacting with objects. Interact with objects with right mouse button. Yes, we know that. Indeed, indeed. 
Different objects need different tools to be destroyed. Oh, here's an axe, a stone axe and a stone pickaxe. So I assume I can equip this if I place it in the top level of my inventory. So it shows up down here if it's in this line here. All right, so pickaxe. We dug the sandstone table with the pickaxe and now it's in our inventory. This seems like a wood table. I'm just left clicking table. Now it's in our inventory. Ooh, paintbrush. Oh, so we can use the paintbrush to change the color of this flag. Oh, lasso and saddle. So we we lassoed it. Saddle. Can I right click it again? Ah, now we are riding the alpaca. Very cool. All right, so I think we did everything on the left. We did everything on the right. Now let's go down. Farming. Different plants need to be planted on different ground types. Acorn, redwood cone. Left click. Left click. So I can't place this redwood cone on the grass. I have to place it on this dirt. And then the acorn I can plant on the grass. Plant vegetables nearby. Oh, we can change the yeah, we can change the color of the chests. Radish, broccoli, and asparagus. Oh, I just ate it, I think. I right click. Left click to plant right click to eat which reminds me i do need to eat we need to plant the radish copper watering can and bone meal to be used as fertilizer most plants need to be watered and can be fertilized with bone meal All right, so if i right click them and then use the watering can they're now watered and fertilized Drop the animals their favorite food to breed them. Their favorite food is radish, and we can press Q to drop. Ah! Interesting. All right, let's check out what's up top. We forgot our alpaca. Choose a biome. Let's choose this one. I like the leaves. Okay, we got four of this biome. Interesting. Goblins. Goblins are friendly creatures. Take the goblin's bed and place it nearby a goblin. Okay, so this creates a room for the goblin. Explore, satisfaction, likes. Ah, so you can trade with them. You can give them bones for coin or crystal shard for coin. And you can use coin to buy saddles from them. Place some furniture around the goblin's bed to raise the satisfaction. All right, it looks like we've uh, covered everything in the tutorial. Ooh, except for this. Underground and place ladders and interact with them to go to the underground. Oh! This is a completely different area now. That is a giant spider. <laughs> You'll also be able to craft a portal to a different dimension. Oh, we got sandstone from that. Ice cube. Very cool. Crystal shard. Ooh. I like this exploration. Ooh, what are those? Are they going to hurt me? Doesn't seem like it. Can I attack them? I, I can attack them. I don't seem to get anything when I attack them, though. Oh, these are coal vans, it seems like. Yeah, we got two coal and two stone from that. Very, very interesting. Yeah, I assume this is the boundary. This, like, glass-looking wall. Yeah, I can't interact with it. Or... Okay, so you can only edit the world when you're on the surface. I assume this underground area is procedurally generated. And it seems like a good way to get coal and other resources. What is this here? 
Oh, we got bones from that. The sandstone, which I assume we can use. We can use the bone to fertilize the plants. We can also sell bones to the goblins for more coins. Now, I don't know exactly what the crystal shards are used for. Yeah, this has been very interesting to explore. Ooh, what was that? Are these rubies? Oh, it's taking a long time. Yep, we got one ruby and two stone from that. I wonder, can we fight this spider? Oh, it's, it's, it's attacking us. Oh, oh my, it just exploded. We got explosive substance. Drinking not recommended. I wanted to see if I could mine these mushrooms. Oh, I can. Yeah, we're out of inventory space. I wonder if there's a way to make a backpack to increase our inventory space. Yeah, this has been interesting. I think that concludes the tutorial area. And I think we've learned everything we need to know to get started in a open world. So the prologue version ends after seven days. You only have seven days in game. You can't save and some items are locked, but that's okay. We'll try it out. All right, so we start on this tiny cube and we have to use the tiles. We have to build out our starting area. And we have a sharp stone, a stone watering can, radishes, and a cup. We got logs. All right, we need standard plank. All right, we need more. Okay, yeah, we made the plank and the stick, and now we can make a workbench. Okay, so I, th this is handcrafting, and then the crafting table gives us more options, like the chest which we need more planks to craft, which means we need to chop down more trees. Yeah, we can store our stuff in this uh, chest now. Oh, we should be feeding the radishes to the sheep, right? Let's plant more trees. Let's craft a ladder. We need sticks, and I'm unsure, is that a rope that we need? Which, I get, which we get from wool. So we need to kill one of these sheep. I don't know if we can attack them. I think we need to make a tool table. We need to cut down more trees. My goal is to make a ladder so we can get into the underground area. And I need to make a tool table. Can't attack the sheep with a sharp, with a sharp stone. And then with the tool table, I should be able to craft a stone sword which means I need to mine stone. And then I can attack the sheep. All right, now we have wool. And with the wool, I can make wool yarn, which I can make rope with, which then I can make a ladder. And then with the ladder, I can go into the underground area. But first, we're going to need more tools. We're going to need more stone and more sticks. And I, I think each day we'll get more tiles to be able to expand out our map. All right, now we can make a stone pickaxe. Instead of using the sharp stone, we'll use the stone pickaxe. We'll make a stone axe as well to chop down more trees. All right, we're going to need a weapon. We have a stone sword already. Okay. We've got a stone pickaxe, stone axe, and stone sword. Now we need to get up to copper. And to get copper, I think we're going to need a furnace. Which means we're going to need more stone. So we got to do that at the crafting table. We're going to make a furnace. And we have to be eating as well. Right, I'm going to place the furnace down. We have logs, which can be used as fuel. Yeah, let's make a cooked mutton. 
I don't want to eat all of the radishes because we want to plant our radishes to make more radishes. All right, so we watered our radishes. So now we need to go and find ourselves some copper. And if I recall, copper was in the stone in the underground. Ah, so the underground is limited by the overworld. See, we can't go any farther. I was wondering about that. So here we're getting tin. We're getting tin ore. But this gives us access to much more stone and other materials, it seems like. Oh, that's copper. That orange looking grass. This is all copper here. So we've got what we, we came for. Let's see if we can make some copper now we're making now we're making copper copper which we need for the copper pickaxe we need two tin and four copper to make bronze that may take quite a bit to make because if each copper if each bronze if each bronze takes two tin and four copper that's significant so for right now, I'm just going to focus on making copper. Yeah, I'm liking the... I'm understanding the progression. The progression seems pretty good. I'm just trying to reach our second day. I want to see what happens once we get more cards. I want to make a copper pickaxe. We have plenty of sticks. And I need water. I wonder, can I just collect water from the surrounding area? Ah, you can. Okay. Okay. Ah, but it's salt water. Yeah, it's salt water, so it's actually lowering our food while it's filling up our... It's it's quenching our thirst, but it's also lowering our food. Okay. Here is the daily choice that we get for new tiles. We're going to want a different type. We don't want grass because we already have grass. I'm thinking we're going to go the redwood forest type. Oh, and we get four of these again. Okay. Oh, these are different. These have goats. These are like dark grass and these are light grass. See, these have like the pine trees. Interesting. these have raccoons cool oh that's that, that's so that's so cool yeah i'm i'm understanding the progression and i assume if we go underground it will have increased the area yeah see it increased this area up here very cool yeah i like that a lot that's a very cool idea yeah, we get red logs and redwood cone. Very cool. I've enjoyed this first look at Minilands. It's been quite enjoyable. Uh, we made it to day two. I wanted to see what the addition of new tiles looked like. I like the idea of being able to expand my world as I play. You're constantly building out. It's a very cool idea. I like it a lot. And yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. This has been the Miniland Adventure Prologue.